What is going on guys? One more team bring guys a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best stage for Washington Football Nation. Now this will be my last video, essentially, on the 2019-2020 season. There will be small videos coming out over the next couple of weeks, short videos going over uh, specifically players. Uh, but that's really looking forward into 2021, so really this is the last 2019-2020 2020-2021 season review. I'm getting my years messed up. I wish we were back in 2019. Things were much better in the world then. Um, So, this is going to be a, this a little review going over my thoughts on the whole season. Overall, what I think about the season, it was a really good season. For what we had to go through, I don't know if we could have done any better this this year. You know, we did so good. We overcame so much this season. And I've hit on it so many times, but this time I just really get to hit on it and um, talk about how my thoughts have changed from thoughts you may have heard at the beginning of the season. Obviously, uh, the overwhelming thing is the name change. We be we began the all season as our former team name, and we're now the Washington football team. Um you know, when we were having that change, I mean, for all Washington fans, especially me, that was kind of t a tough pill to swallow. It's like that thing that we always feared would happen, but we didn't want to happen. But months and months later, I don't hate it anymore. I, I don't. I, I've grown fond of Washington football team, and, you know, Ron... Jason Wright, and I can't believe I'm saying this, Dan Snyder, whoever our next GM is going to be, I have my full faith in them. And if they felt the right decision, even though Jason wasn't on the team at the time, um, if they feel the right decision was to move on, that's perfectly fine. We're the Washington football team. I've embraced it. Anybody who hasn't embraced it, uh, hop on a train, embrace it. It's here. Don't don't uh, sit back and whine about it like I did for months. You know, It's a waste of time. It's nothing you can do. You... You swallow the pill and move on. And that's what we need to do. Just need to move on. You know? If they felt it was the right thing to do, perfectly fine. You know, I still have my stuff with the former team name on it. But I look at it and I see Washington. I don't see a specific name. I just see this is our team. This is the team I've pulled for for years. So that's just a little soapbox on the team name and how my um, feelings have definitely changed a lot since then. For the better. And um, I go back and I cringe when I see my video talking about it. I don't want to delete it because I like showing a progression from where I was there back in what, uh, July, June to where I am now. Um, that's the only reason I kept the video up. I contemplated deleting it, but I'm like, you know what? I knew this was going to be going up, and this will show my progression, so I felt comfortable leaving it. Um, and I'd have to shake up all the names and go through and edit every name, every title of the videos and you know, we're at 57 now, so I really don't want to. <laughs> Lazy, but it's true. And so, all right, pass the name. Controversies. We had the Washington Post article, several articles that came out and really tried to just put a bad light on our team, especially, more specifically, Dan Snyder and the former regime with uh, specific people in there. I'm not going to waste time mentioning those people. They aren't they aren't worth my breath to say their name. Um, unfortunately, I've taken pictures with some of the big ones, regretfully. I deleted one of them. One of them does no longer exist. The other one exists, but I will delete it. I don't want any uh, recollection of me taking pictures with that person. Because I wish I could take it out of my brain, but I can't. So that really tried to tarnish our name. This season, but it didn't work. Um, they failed at uh, taking us down because everybody realized, hey, this is the former Washington football team regime. This isn't what they are now. And people usually don't see that, but this time around, they really actually saw it. And I was super proud of just the community and just uh, everybody seeing, you know, things have changed. There's new people, there's new leadership. There's new people in the in those toxic positions, and take, making sure that they're no longer toxic. And with that, I think we played better. I think the players bought into the system more. 
because the executives bought in and we're all like we're all one team it's not this guy is managing the whole team and not really the coach so and brings me into Ron Rivera a hell of a year for Ron Rivera um and that and that's to take it lightly you know he was brought in on January 1st I believe and there's not enough I can say about everything he's done over the season. He's changed the culture. He's he's really just elevated everything about this organization. And, you know, as a Washington fan, no matter how the season turned out, if we just play like we played, even if we didn't win as many games, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm just extremely proud of the product our team put onto the field week, week in and week out. And that was absolutely amazing to see because we saw effort we haven't seen I've never seen maybe since 2012 you know 2015 is a good year but there's some effort that I saw this year that was not played that year minus the Buccaneers game in 2015 because that was played to the last second you know credit to them right and the Eagles game and there's several games but you know when you come to a whole season as a whole this season was the one where we played our hearts out, especially after like the first month of the season. We got that rust off since we didn't have a preseason. That's when it really started to kick in the gear, and we're like, oh, man, this team can compete. This team can play. It's just too bad we had the rough start that really tarnished our record because we, we weren't really a 7-9 and nine team. We really were a much better team. It's just we couldn't close out some games. Uh, unfortunate events happening in critical moments in the games and you know what can you do you know it's it's done happen some past we finished seven and nine made it to the playoffs and we competed in the playoffs with our four string quarterback Taylor Heineke which brings me to another point Washington is doing a limited special event sale of the legend of Taylor Heineke shirts I bought me one go buy yourself one they are awesome um you know let's support Taylor Heineke you know um who knows where his role is going to be next season but you know for this game where he really showed out and really just energize the whole fan base even in a loss I think we need to go and uh show support for him and the whole team for competing this year and going back to Rivera you know changing the culture while battling cancer battling cancer going to treatments couldn't even stand the whole game and had to go sit on the bench had to get an IV at halftime didn't even make all the practice because he was just so weak but no matter what, he came out there every single week and coached our players. Set an example that I really wholeheartedly believe this team bought into, which was no matter what your circumstances are, if you want to be on this team and if you want to buy into this team and this organization, no matter what you're going through, if you can be on that field, put yourself on that field. Unless you literally cannot walk onto that field and make – some type of productive play. You got to be on that field. And Ron Rivera, I mean, he battled and battled. He deserves Coach of the Year. Will he get it? I don't know. He deserves it, obviously. I don't know if he'll get it. Um, just because the way some other teams have played really well this season and their records shine a lot more. But, you know, some Vegas odds are showing that Ron is the favorite. So, you know, we'll find out at the end of the month. Or beginning of February when beginning of February when NFL honors come around. But you know, another NFL honor we're gonna be getting. Comeback player of the year, cause Alex Smith came back. Seventeen surgeries. I mean, we saw that documentary Project Eleven on ESPN. Could have died, could have lost his leg. And he's out there playing football again and contemplating playing another year. You can't make this stuff up. This is what makes being a Washington fan so much fun this past year. Is just all the amazing stories. And Al's coming back, you know. Did he play the greatest? No. Did he win games for us? Absolutely. Did he compete? Did he put us in the best position of all quarterbacks to win? Yes. He He's the reason we're in the playoffs. I wholeheartedly believe. No other quarterback could have done the decisions he made. And made it into the playoffs. That it just would not have happened. Um, you know, you won't be optimistic about it, but you know, let's be honest, it wouldn't have happened if Alex didn't play. Kyle Allen couldn't do it. 
Dwayne sure as heck could not do it. And who knows, Taylor Heineke? Don't know. But this team was so resilient. And I could go down and just praise every player that played good this year. There's just so many. But just to name a few, I'm not going to really go into it because I'm have videos that really go into it. But, you know, just to name a few, Cam Sims really stepping up. Chase Young, Defensive Rookie of the Year. I think he could be for Defensive Player of the Year, but he's not going to get that. But Defensive Rookie of the Year. Cameron Curl, the seventh-round pick from Arkansas that balled out. Kendall Fuller played solid. Cole Holcomb played solid. Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, Montez Sweat, 10 sack season. Antonio Gibson. Brandon Sheriff getting first team all pro. JD McKissick having some key dirt down plays. This team is special. Jeremy Reeves coming in and making productive plays. Cesar Everett coming in and making good plays. This team and Kevin Pierre Lewis. I mean, these names are just popping in my head, and I can't not mention them. And this is with that whole running back shakeup at the beginning of the season when Darius Geis got arrested and AP was released, shockingly. And we were all pissed that they released AP, and now it makes sense. We got Gibb, we got McKissick. Barber even played good. I think, you know, not top, but he played good. This team is special. This team is great. And I, I could go on and on and on about how good this team is and how good they played and how excited I am for what's next. But I'll save that for Friday's video where I preview the 2021 season. This team is special. And this year showed that no matter what trials and tribulations you go through, you can make it through. And... You almost get emotional talking about how this team played this year because, you know, not only the team, but, you know, us fans have put through a lot. And uh, this, you can't help but be excited about where we're going forward. I'm not even mad that we lost in the playoffs. I'm like, well, look what we put out there. Look what the product we put out there was. Logan Thomas, I can't not mention him either. Just popped in my head. This team is special, and we're going to make a run next year, and I'll explain why in the next video. So, as you're taking in what all happened this season, just remember everything we had to overcome, all the amazing stories that will be told from this season, just from our team. And now, we're going on another year, riding this momentum. So let's go. As Ron Revere says... We're on our way up. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe down below. Make sure to hit that bell button so you're notified every single time up a brand new episode of Washington Station. Make sure to check out all the links below. And I'm a Morris. I'm out.